Hi everyone, in this problem we have to determine whether this integral is improper and then whether it converges or diverges and if it converges we'll find the answer. So first note that it is improper because it's not continuous at 1. If you were to take this number here and plug it in, you would get 9 over 1 minus 1 to the 3 halves. So you would get 9 over 0, which is undefined. So it would be an improper integral. So this is improper. Recall that an integral is said to be improper if it has an infinite limit of integration, not the case here, or if it has what's called an infinite discontinuity. That's what this is. It's a discontinuity because it's undefined. And it's infinite because if you take the limit as x approaches 1, um, you'll get some type of infinity. So to work it out, what we do is we rewrite the original question. So go from 1 to 2. Whoops, 1 to 2. 9 over x minus 1 to the 3 halves dx. And we replace the problem with a variable. So the problem is at 1. So we'll put a variable there. I like to use b. And then you take the limit as b approaches what you replaced. So we replace the 1. So we take the limit as b approaches 1. And one of the hardest things uh, for people to figure out at this point is from which direction are you approaching? Well, I like to draw a picture. So here's 1 and here's 2. And so b is in the middle. So b is approaching 1. So it's going this way. Well, that means we're approaching from the right. So you put a little plus sign here. Now this doesn't always matter, but sometimes it does, so um, it's really important. Again, you just plot your limits, you put the b in the middle here, and then you say, okay, you're going to the 1, so you're approaching from the right. All right, we're going to 2. Now to integrate this, we want to write it as something to a power. So I'm going to take this bottom piece and bring it up like this, 9 parentheses x minus 1 to the negative 3 halves. Good stuff. So note that technically we're supposed to make a, um, a u substitution here. We're supposed to let u equal x minus 1. And if you do that, you just get du equals dx. Let's go ahead and be a bit abusive and just use the power rule on this piece because of that. Right? If we were to make a u sub, nothing would change. So this is equal to the limit as b approaches 1 from the right. The 9 hangs out. We have x minus 1, negative 3 halves plus 1 is really negative 3 halves plus 2 halves. So that's uh, negative 1 half. So negative 1 half. And when we divide by negative 1 half, we really multiply by negative 2. So I'm going to put a negative 2 here. And we're going from b to 2. It's getting really messy here. Let's rewrite this. This is the limit. As b approaches 1 from the right, let's go ahead and clean it up a little bit. This is uh, negative 2 times 9, so negative 18. Let's bring down the other piece and write it as x minus 1 to the 1 half. And we're going from b to 2. All right, good stuff. It's a lot of notation here. So this is equal to the limit as b approaches 1 from the right. And let's go ahead and plug what we have in. So I'm going to put a bracket here. All right, so we have negative 18 over, okay, and then we have 2 minus 1 to the 1 half, plugging in the 2 for the then minus, but then you're supposed to uh, put this here. So minus and minus is plus. So this is going to become a plus 18. And then it's b minus 1 to the 1 half, just like that. All right. This is where it's going to get a little bit harder. This is equal to, let's keep going just one more step, and then we'll do the tricky step. The limit as b approaches 1 from the right. Negative 18 over 1 is just negative 18. So this is negative 18. I think it's 2 minus 1 is 1, so um, no big deal there. Plus, and then we have 18 
over and then b minus 1 to the 1 half and then bracket. So negative 18 is going to be negative 18. No issues there. This is the only issue here. And you can see if you were to just plug in 1, it would be uh, undefined. Let's try to do a little bit better than that. So if you recall from a long time ago, maybe um, we had limits like this. Usually uh, in like calculus one, you study these. So we have 18 over, and then we have B minus one to the one half. So what's happening is, is that B is approaching one from the right. So think of a number that's really, really close to one but bigger. So that's an easy way to think about it. So this is roughly 18 over like 1.001 minus 1 to the 1 half. I'm just picking any number close to 1 just so you can try to visualize what happens. Remember, B is changing. B is getting really close to 1, infinitely close. We have 18 over something uh, small, and that's big, right? That's big. So if you have 18 over a small number, it's big. Think of like 18 over 0 0.0001. That's huge. That's what's happening here. As B approaches 1 from the right, this this gets really, 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 really big. And the negative 18 becomes neg negligible. So you just get infinity. So it blows up. And so the answer is diverges. If we get a number, then it converges. In this case, it is diverges. Uh, a little bit of a harder problem, but not too hard. I hope this video has been helpful. Take care and good luck.